Hello my dear kids welcome back today we are going to learn about HCF and LCM so let's get started do you know what is HCF and LCM HCF stands for highest common factor and LCM stands for lowest common multiples in previous sessions we learned about factors and multiples also we have learned prime factorization here we are using prime factorization to find out the LCM and HCM of two given numbers let us try to find out the HCF and LCM of two numbers 22 and 66 first we are going to factorize these numbers as a product of prime numbers here the numbers are 22 and 66 what is the common smallest prime number which can divide these numbers completely 2 so when we divide 22 by 2 we got 11 66 by 2 we got 33 what is the common prime factor for 11 and 33 11 so when we divide 11 by 11 we got 1 and 33 by 11 we got 3 so we have factorized 22 and 66 now we are going to find out HCF and LCM of these two numbers so to find the HCF of these numbers we multiply all the common prime factors of the given numbers here the common prime factors are 2 and 11 so we got 22 as the HCF now what is LCM to find the LCM of two or more numbers we express each one of them as the product of prime factors then what we do then we take any prime factor that appears maximum number of times in the factorization of the given numbers and multiply them here we are multiplying 2 11 1 and 3 so we get 66 66 is the least common multiple of 22 and 66 let's try another example let's find out HCF and LCM of 28 and 72 let's do prime factorization first here we get 2 as the common prime number which can divide 28 and 72 completely so we got 40 36 again 2 is the common prime number which can be divisible by 14 and 36 so we got 7 and 18 here we don't have any common prime number which can divide 7 and 18 so the prime factorization process is over now let's find out HCF and LCM HCF is the product of common prime factors that is 4 2 into 2 to find out the LCM we are multiplying 2 2 7 and 18 we got 504 so the LCM of 28 and 72 is 504 and HCF is 4. So we have learned how to find out the HCF and LCM of two numbers. With a different topic, we will meet you in the next session. I wish all of you a happy learning.